Welcome aboard Rock X, a steel hull explorer yacht designed by Repack and built by Evadne Yachts. At 27.4 meters, she's built for serious offshore cruising with a displacement of 114 metric tons. Powered by twin CAT C18 engines, she delivers 2,000 horsepower and cruises comfortably at 12 knots with a top speed of 15.5 knots. Rock X blends state-of-the-art engineering with elegant and modern design, featuring sustainable systems like lithium-ion batteries and solar panels. So join me as I take you through the details that make this yacht a true combination of performance and comfort. Guys, welcome back to the channel. You join me here, day two of filming at the Cannes Yachting Festival. Uh, this is a boat that personally I've really been looking forward to getting on board and filming and I can't wait to show you around. She's got so many features that I absolutely love and I'm sure many of you will love them as well. Before I crack on with the yacht tour, please don't forget to give the video a like. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. It's really important that we try and get to those 100,000 subscribers and I really appreciate it. Let's crack on with the tour. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, you join me in a very sunny and very warm can. Uh, this is a boat that I've really been looking forward to getting on board and showing you around. It's got loads of features that I know many of you are gonna love. But first and foremost, let's start this boat tour on this huge beach club. As you can see, there's plenty of space out here for all of your modular furniture. Uh, I do like the fact as well that, of course, you can put your shades straight into the holes on this beach club. The other thing to point out as well is that this beach club is actually on a hydraulic platform. Uh, so everything you see here can lower down into the water. Uh, so if you've got the, your tender that you want to obviously carry with you rather than towing behind the boat, uh, then this is the place where you could put some chocks obviously on the deck and stow your tender on here as well. But as you can see, look, easy access into and out of the water, straight onto the large beach club. And if you're really feeling indulgent, you can take a dip in the jacuzzi as well. So the midship's jacuzzi there, obviously on the starboard side, have access up into the cockpit. And I'll take you over here on the port side. Again, look, we've got more steps that takes us straight up into the cockpit. Of course, the business end of the boat over here as well. You know, one of the things that I've noticed when I've been walking around this boat is the level of detailing uh, really, really is impressive. And you'll see that as we walk around. Over here, of course, you've got the shower as well. So before you come up into the cockpit, you can have a quick shower and get yourself all fresh and ready. As you see over here on the port side, L-shaped seating. Uh, with a table fixed there as well. And something I want to point out, if I spin around, you'll notice that flush to the deck, we have this stainless steel bar here. Now that actually does come up so that when you're at sea and underway, you could... Yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, so I was just talking to the uh, manager of the shipyard that built this beautiful boat, and he's actually gonna put this up now so you can see it in action. So look, as you can see, this raises up so when you are at sea underway and you want to close the port gate over there, or starboard gate actually over there, and the port gate here, and these can be shut and this comes up. And obviously it's very important in terms of that added layer of safety when you're at sea. But yeah, look, there you go. That raises up. And when she's in that position there, you would just simply close these doors. So yeah, that is the beach club. Like I say, very, very impressive, lots of space. Uh, and it's a feature that personally I absolutely love. If I show you over here, you get a sense of just how deep that jacuzzi is as well. Have the controls over here, look. Drain, the lights, and the massage feature as well. And that's probably the one that I'd be using most of the time. And there we go, look, there you can see how it looks when those two gates are shut. All right, let's spin around. We'll head forward. Another thing to point out as well, I mean, in terms of an entertainment area, of course, one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do when you're out here with your friends and family, relaxing, enjoying the view, is listen to some music and check out the number of speakers that we've got up there 
of course in amongst the indirect lighting as well. So yeah, very, very nice entertainment area. Lots of features out here. You see the massive window there, and in a second I'll take you in so you can see the interior spaces. But obviously underneath that, we've got some more storage. I love the fact that over here on the port side of the aft superstructure, there is an astern docking station that is cleverly hidden away. Let's head inside so I can show you around here. One of the things that you probably already, I've already mentioned during this tour is that this yacht has been designed by Repack and I'm a massive fan of Repack's work. Uh, and you'll see as we walk around the level of detailing, the finish um, is absolutely breathtaking. Right, so features in here. Let's start over here on the starboard side. As you can see, we've got a huge door here that you can open up so you can connect this space seamlessly with the fresh sea air. If I spin around over here, look, modular seating, so you can pretty much configure this area how you want to, uh, but personally, I think they've hit the nail on the head in terms of how this area is set up at the moment. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Something else, obviously, I need to point out, you've seen them already, but these four massive vertical windows over here, again, you can just imagine, if I sit down here and show you, you can just imagine how this feels when you've got your friends and family on board and you're relaxing in here after a day of enjoying the water. And if I show you up in the deck head there, recessed light, indirect lighting, surrounded by a large mirror. And of course, we've got the LED indirect lighting all around that part of the deck head as well. Over here on this bulkhead, this is actually the TV. Uh, so again, at the moment, it's almost like a picture, right? A painting or a picture. That's what it looks like at the moment, but obviously that is a television. Big sound bar underneath that. And again, we've got some more cabinetry underneath there as well. So yeah, I personally, I absolutely love this area. Uh, you really can make it your own. I love the fact that it connects so seamlessly uh, with the surroundings, whether you want to shut this down and just enjoy the view, or if you're lucky enough to be in an area where you've got nice warm weather, you can open this up, turn the air conditioning off, and just enjoy the sea breeze. Uh, something else you would have noticed as you walked in here, we have this staircase that leads down into the aft accommodation. I'll take you down there in just a second, but first, let me take you forward. As you note over here on the starboard side, walk down two steps and here we have a formal dining area. Again, another large window over there on the bulkhead with some mirrors on that bulkhead. So the way that you're getting the natural light coming in here, bouncing off the mirrors and then bouncing around this light interior makes the place feel really nice, light and airy. And we've got loads of headroom in here as well. And of course you can, if you want to, open that up for some additional ventilation. You stand a salute in the mirror there, as you were. That door there leads us through into the galley. Uh, I'll take you in there in just a second. Uh, but first, let's continue the tour by moving forward. We'll open this up. As you've probably guessed, we have a day head here. A very nice, spacious day head. Again, lots of mirrors in here, so you get a really good sense of depth. It doesn't feel like you're in a tiny day head like it does on some boats. But let me take you into this area. This is the master cabin. So, full beam, big double bed, obviously amidships on the center line. Very, very nice design, very nice detailing. Again, like I say, this is a repack designed boat, so you know you're gonna get a very, very high quality. And the shipyard have done a fantastic job on the finish of this boat. Um, they really, really have. So in here, obviously, we have what I would call a bit of a walk-in closet. Plenty of hanging space there with drawers, obviously, underneath. And over here on the port side, again, look, more storage space. And check out the size of that window in the bulkhead. I mean, just imagine the view when you are laying down there and you wake up in the morning and you look out through your privacy glass 
to wherever it is you happen to be anchored or tied up alongside. So more features in here. We have obviously the TV on the bulkhead over there on the port side. If I head forward, obviously we've got the sink, toilet over here. Again, another large window in there, look. It can be opened up for some additional ventilation. And over here on the starboard side, we have the shower. Let's open this up. And there we go, look, rain head shower, fixed into the deck head, another large window over there. Obviously you've got your detachable shower as well. But you would have noticed as we walked in, the owner also gets a private terrace. Check this out. You know, the amount of engineering that goes into a feature like this, you really, really cannot overestimate just how much work goes into a feature like this. So let's step out here and I'll show you what the lucky owner will be able to enjoy when they're out here. Check this out, look at that. You get a really good look at the profile of the boat as well. Absolutely stunning. Bulbous bow over there on the bow. This is a true sea keeping boat. You know, you can take this out in the sort of stuff that would keep a lot of boats alongside. It is an explorer yacht, but this boat in particular has been set up and configured for the Mediterranean. So this boat was always destined to be operated around the Mediterranean. And you're noticing that obviously, you know, with features such as this, the large beach club as well. But look, even if I pan down here, you can see what would be the window when this is shut is now a view down to the sea. Absolutely love it. Very, very nice feature, very impressive. And of course you've got the blinds up there as well. But as ever, I'm always interested to hear what you think. Let me know what you think of this master cabin in the comments. Personally, I'm absolutely blown away. This, as they say, is right up my street. Obviously you've got the digital control for the climate and we switches there for your lights. USB-C port there as well. And obviously the PowerPoint as well. So that is the master cabin. Very, very impressive. All right, let's spin around now. We'll head aft and let's go down this staircase. But before we do, let's just take a minute to appreciate the lighting in there. Look at that, absolutely love it. A step down and here we go into VIP cabin now this stateroom again you know the finish throughout this boat uh, is very very consistent you would if you teleported onto this boat and you were in this stateroom you might be forgiven for thinking that this is actually the owner's stateroom but it's not obviously this is the VIP again I love the touch and detail in here in terms of the LED lighting absolutely beautiful lots of storage over here and another thing that i like because obviously the way that this bed is configured in here you get a lot of room on either side so that you could probably fit your ipad your laptop and loads of other stuff on there as well and of course they make great use of the space all around the bed too so you've got plenty of space to keep all of your personal belongings but again, look, over here, again, plenty of space on there as well. Big porthole over there, so you get lots of natural light coming into this area. If I spin around over here, we have the shower. Very nice shower. Very big as well. If you're a bit short on time and you both need to take a shower at the same time, you definitely could both fit in there quite easily. Obviously, we've got the detachable handheld shower there as well obviously a big sink another mirror now that mirror does actually retract electronically there we go look so if you finish putting on your makeup and you want to enjoy the view that disappears seamlessly look into there and you can get the view out of your large porthole Obviously, if you want to black this area out, you've got blinds there that can be shut as well. And over here is where we find the toilet. And if I just back up, then we have the TV on the bulkhead as well. 
Again, very, very impressive, very, very nice area. Right, let's spin around, head back up the stairs. Again, look, you can really get a good sense of that indirect lighting as we ascend these steps. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish the part of the tour where I'll show you the accommodation by heading aft. Again, before I saw this, you know, you have an expectation of what you think the accommodation areas are gonna look like, especially when it comes to uh, the guest state rooms, the guest cabins. I completely underestimated just how impressive it is down here, as you'll see in a minute. So we've got two cabins back here. Double over here on the port side. But when I walk in here, one of the first things that I noticed, that check out the windows that you get in this stateroom. Look at that, massive windows, loads and loads of natural light coming in here. Obviously it is privacy glass as well. So if you are alongside, you don't have to worry about, you know, people peering in. But these really nice reading lights as well on the bulkhead on both sides. And if you want some additional ventilation in here, you can open up those portholes there, look. All your digital controls, so the air conditioning and climate control. And look, there's even an ethernet cable in that one. USB-C charger as well. But yeah, very, very nice. And again, all the way around the bed, got plenty of storage space. Very, very nice guest stateroom, very nice. Right, spin around, I'll show you in here. Obviously toilets over there, the sink, some storage underneath. Another mirror, another salute. I'll open up this, and there we go, look. A shower with another porthole. Check that out. Right, let's finish in here. I'll take you back out and into the final guest cabin, which is a single over here on the starboard side. Look again, look straight away, notice those massive windows. I mean, if you had children on board, teenage children, and they were using this as their guest stateroom, I think they would be very, very impressed. Again, look at how much natural light you're getting in here. It's a good time of the day as well, because what time is it now? It is 25 to seven. So, you know, there's not as much light outside, obviously, but you're still getting enough light to get an idea of just how well lit this space is. Thanks to those massive, massive windows. And again, look, I'll show you that indirect lighting. You know, I have a bit of a soft spot when it comes to indirect lighting. I absolutely love it. Mainly because I think that when you're on a boat, the whole ambiance of the boat is something that is really, really important. If you've had a hard day of water sports or exploring and you want to come back into your cabin or your stateroom and enjoy some downtime, I think the way that this area and areas like this are lit is really, really important, but I love it. Look, backlit mirror over there on that bulkhead. I'll save you the salute. Toilet over there and spin around and here we have the shower. So that is the accommodation areas. So just to summarize, owner's stateroom up forward with another double stateroom and aft, we have a single as well as another double. I think what I'll do now, galley over here on the port side, we'll go in there in just a moment. First, I wanna take you up these steps to show you what is a very, very impressive bridge deck. Check this out. So of course, over here on the starboard side, L-shaped seating, but a lot of seating. Uh, if you're piloting the boat or captaining the boat and you wanna come up here and enjoy the view and watch proceedings, then yeah, you and all your guests can come up here and enjoy the view. Another really, really important feature is the fact that look, you are getting pretty much 360 degree visibility all around the boat. Obviously really important for the captain and quite unique as well for a boat configured like this in this way. A very, very nice touch. Again, over here on the starboard side, lots of windows. And look, how do you know when you're on an explorer yacht? Well, personally, one of the things that I always look for 
are those forward raking windows and that is exactly what we've got on here. Obviously fully kitted out helm station, three multifunction displays, Simrad multifunction displays over here at the moment on the left one, the radar picture on the middle one, digital charts obviously, and over here we've got a touch screen display at the moment and that's showing the various tank levels. Throttle control levers over here on the right, Simrad VHF radios, and obviously the wheel, rudder angle indicator over there, control panel for the bow thruster, wiper controls, another steering control over here, and there we have the controls for the generators. Two generators on board this boat, and we'll go and have a look in the engine room in just a second. And over here, look, we've got all of our 24V DC panel control, navigation lights control, and AC panel control over there as well. But yeah, if I come and sit in the captain's chair to give you an idea of the view, yeah, look at that. Very, very comfortable chair as well, very nice. Gives me a moment just to sit down and enjoy the view before we crack on with the rest of the yacht tour. And you'll notice over here on the starboard side, look, another seating area there as well. PowerPoint's over there. But yeah, check that out. I love the shape of this helm station as well. Very unique. Right, onwards and upwards. Let's stand up, spin around. Look at this huge pantograph door over here. I mean, that is some serious, serious engineering. Let's open up this. I'll take you out onto the upper deck. There we go, shut that again. So I can take you forward with one hand, which is easier said than done. And here we have the bow, as you see. Loads of space to come out here and sit down, relax, enjoy the sun. Obviously we've got the poles over there for the canopy if you want to put that up. And here is a good opportunity to spin around and show you the windows on the bridge. There are three large LED spotlights up there as well on the brow. And yes, this does have a flybridge and we'll go up there in a second. But look at that radar mast. So Simrad radar there, a midship, CCTV camera above that, more searchlights and obviously uh, the satellite domes on both the port and the starboard side. And the poles again there for the Bimini. So if you are up on the flybridge and you want to escape the sun, that is easily done. All the deck gear stowed away under that hatch. It's a hydraulic hatch that lifts up very easily so the, the crew can work the anchor. But yeah, so that is the bow. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Absolutely love it. Very, very, very impressive. I think what we'll do now, we'll head aft, back along the port side deck. As you walk around, you'll notice the high bulwarks and the sleek stainless steel handrails. While this boat is built for exploring the med, safety is of course still a big focus. These features make sure you're protected even when things get a bit rough whilst out at sea. But check this out, another dining area here. So you've got enough seating there for 10 people. Obviously you've got the hard top that extends out as well, giving you a little bit of protection from the elements if you're deciding to come up here and it is raining, you can still be kept nice and dry. Lots of lighting in there, and again, more speakers. And over here on the starboard side, again, more seating. So yeah, you could have quite a few guests up here, enjoying themselves, having a party, enjoying that special occasion. What a place to enjoy it. And here we get an off view of that radar mast as well. Very, very nice radar mast. And here we have obviously the crane over here on the port side. But let's spin around. I'm gonna take you up onto the flybridge. A bar over here as well, just before we enter the steps that lead us up onto the flybridge, almost like a floating bar. Look at that on both sides. Excuse the knees. But yeah, so if you're gonna be serving your guests up here, you can keep all your wine, your beers, food obviously prepped and stowed away until your guests are ready to eat. And let me take you up onto the flybridge. I really, I must say, look, look at that. As you walk up here, you actually walk through the radar mast. 
I've never done that before, coming up onto the flybridge, not a radar mast like that. Again, more seating over here, look. Seating over there on the start side. And here we have the flybridge helm. So again, throttle control levers, rudder angle indicator there, two multifunction displays, Simrad multifunction displays, controls for the Humphreys over here, and a control for the bow thruster, switch for the horn, Simrad VHF, and main engine stop start over there on the starboard side. But again, just to show you the view, let me sit down in silence for a minute and take in that view. So this is my third Cannes Yachting Festival. Uh, absolutely love it here. And I love it on a day like today when it's slightly cooler. Uh, it's been very windy today. Obviously that time of the evening now where the wind's died down a little bit. But look, let me show you that radar mast again. Very nice. Another Sumerian antenna atop that top platform there. And more solar panels. So yeah, the boat is producing solar power as well. So overnighting at anchor, using hotel load, the batteries which we'll see in a minute are enough to sustain the operation of the hotel load. Um, builder, the uh, manager of the shipyard that built this boat was telling me that you probably get about 10 hours of uh, general operation from the batteries without having to run the generators for the hotel load. Right, let's head back into the bridge. I think we've pretty much covered everything. Open this door again, because I didn't shut it properly. I'll come back and do that when I've got two hands rather than one. I must show you the galley as well, actually, and I'll quickly show you the crew accommodation before we finish the tour in the engine room. So back into the saloon, look. We spin around past this formal dining area, and the galley is actually through here. So I'll be polite, give a quick knock, just let people know I'm coming. Here we go in the galley. So again, very, very nicely set up. There's the crew. Say hello to the, uh, the viewers, guys. <laughs> so yeah, here we have the, uh, the crew doing their thing in the galley. Lots of cold storage, look over there. Plenty of space to keep all of your cutlery and everything else. And of course, we have a huge window here. So when you are prepping the food, you get a great view out there as well. And as you can see, you can open that up to get some additional ventilation in here as well. I'll quickly go down into the crew area. I won't go into the actual cabins, but I'll just show you the area so you can get a sense of its size. Here we have a mess area here, look. The TV over there on that bulkhead. Another porthole there, the shutter's currently shut. Let's have a quick look in the cabins, so there we go. So twin cabin there for the crew. Again, the finish, very, very nice. Very nice finish. Very light, very bright, very airy. Another porthole over there, look. And I'll spin around. And we have another crew cabin in there. All right, let me get out of the, uh, the crew's hair so they can crack on with doing what they're doing. I will now take you down into the engine room. Cheers, that. Head back out here. Now, you might be wondering by now how to get access into the engine room. Well, there's two points of access, one on the port side deck and one over on the starboard side deck as well. We'll go down into the engine room via the port access. Boarding gate over there, look as well, into the boardwalks. There is another one over on the starboard side. But to get into the engine room, we lift up this hatch. And you can see on a hydraulic strut, and we descend into the engine room. And what a big engine room we've got on this boat. I like the fact over here that you've got a work area, a little sink as well. Another one over here on the starboard side with some storage that you can stow away small items of kit that you want to keep out of sight. And over here is the ladder. That leads up to the starboard access hatch, obviously on the starboard deck. Generator over there. Obviously got twin engines on this boat. Rock X is powered by twin Caterpillar C18 engines delivering 1,000 horsepower each. With an 11,000 litre or 2,400 gallon fuel capacity, 
She boasts an impressive range of 3,000 nautical miles when cruising at 8 knots. Push her up to 9 knots and that range drops to 2,200 nautical miles. At 12 knots, she still covers 900 nautical miles. And over here, this is where we find the water maker. Sewage treatment plant there. And again, that is the second generator. And of course, you can see the fuel tanks as well. There's one there and there's another one over here. And from memory, well, you can see the tank hatch there. Look, there's another one over there as well. But yeah, plenty of headroom down here. Obviously, if you need to do some uh, serious outhauling work, you've got everything you need to do that. But yeah, that is the engine room. So guys, if you are mechanically minded, as always, really interested to hear what you think of this engine room, make sure you leave a comment down below. For stability, Rock X is equipped with advanced Humphrey stabilizers. And in case you are wondering, she carries 2000 liters of fresh water and 1000 liters of black water. I must admit, I was completely blown away by this stunning boat and her immaculate features. She really is striking. Thanks for joining me on this yacht tour. I hope you've enjoyed having a look around. I absolutely loved exploring this boat. Um, I think you'll agree with me. She's got loads of stunning features. The massive beach club, the full beam master cabin, and of course, not forgetting that private terrace as well. Um, if you are interested, then this boat, at the time of making this video and uploading it to my YouTube channel, currently is listed for sale. If you want to find out more, I'll leave a link in the video description. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like, especially at this stage in the video, because it will mean that more people will get to see it. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. If you've got a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, don't forget to get in contact with me. You'll find all the contact details by following the link in the video description. But until next time, fair winds and following seas. If you are interested in the wonderful world of Explorer Yachts, then you'll be pleased to know I do have a new newsletter. You can sign up to it for free. All you've got to do is head to yacht-boy.com, put in your email address, and every time I release a new blog, it'll be delivered straight to your inbox.